beautiful song. Oh, well, thank you. And to PK and to so many others, um, you know, that are facing the holidays alone this season, um, please know that you really are truly not alone. And even if it's reaching out through social media or um, through charities, I mean, I'm always here. You're always here. Absolutely. And this is what the song is about. My son, uh, Hudson, and I, we, we often do our little... Um, uh, I say carpool karaoke, of, of, you know, but it's not. I, I like to speak about music in the car on the way to school. And with the holidays, um, you know, we were speaking about who we're celebrating with, and there are, um, you know, some family members that are no longer with us, and, um, uh, you know, families that travel, that are overseas. And... And I said, but it makes me sad. And my son said, well, no, if you just use your imagination then, and you believe in the magic, then then they can be here with you too. And, and that's what sparked the song. And um, so to PK, you know, and, and anybody else um, that, that is feeling a little down right now, um, you know, reconnect with that magic. Just close your eyes and, and you'll be able to be with everybody in your mind. Um, they'll be there, and that's the beauty of it. Yeah. All go on Zoom. All go on Zoom. If, as long as they're still all here. Absolutely, yep, all go on Zoom for sure. But um, I'm just a bit like, wow, I've not uh, performed in, oh, you're saying I'd say, like a the decade. Show. Wow. And thank goodness for PTSD therapy, because if it weren't for that, I don't think I, I could have ever have found the strength or courage to, to do that either. It's taken a lot. Um, mental health matters and it's important to reach out and again at this time of year to um to have that hand to hold um, thanks for feeling safe enough to do it on our show oh yeah no absolutely i mean like you just said now it's a family here i'm grateful to have been on a, a few panels um and my son is um he's out yeah he's, he's out. Um, out, out back there with, with mom parents, and dad yeah. uh for sure and um this is what's so special about this time of year and People close down for the holidays from work, um, and it's our downtime to... It's so important just to switch off and allow yourself to switch off and take that break, you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, may this moment be an inspiration to anyone that feels like that they can't get over um, a hurdle of theirs um, if you absolutely allow yourself to put in that work to... to to, from a mental health standpoint, like I did, then you can absolutely overcome anything. This is your life. Absolutely live it. May that be your New Year's resolution to all. 100%. And mm. how are you and your family celebrating Christmas? Um, we are getting together tomorrow. Uh, it's my mom's turn to make the Christmas lunch. Ah, that's, I, the, that's the good time. <laughs> I was given the task of, of the bread for the table. Mm. Um, and I, I think that they were trying to do me a favour. Um, because I had some heart issues, um, and I don't know if you guys can see my, my sticker marks, but um, I had to wear a halter monitor. However, 
um, I think they just thought, oh, they'd be doing me a favor and I go to the supermarket and get some bread, but I'm such an overachiever. I'm like, no, I'll go to the supermarket, buy the ingredients, bake the bread, and now I've got like the, I don't know, five, six loaves of this olive bread to, to bring to the Christmas table tomorrow, but that's what it's about, mucking in, being mm. creative. They should have said fun. just to bring the champagne and then there was nothing. Unless you're going to what am I going to do? Like crush the grapes? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, hmm. that would do it. So, just tell me about the song a little bit more. How long did it take to actually write it then? Um, wow, not very long at all. I wish I had my phone on me because I'd be able to play you the the voice memos. But um, like I said, in the drive to school is my son and I's magical moments. And oh, really? whether it's when me and my Children just scream and argue and I have to do really? spelling. Well, I have to, it's when we do the spelling tests and no I'm not a very way. good teacher as lockdown No me. way. Yeah. Well, we do music history class. So we'll, we'll do like, um, I don't know, I'll pick like five of my favorite bands, for example, one week and we'll be listening to them and I'll say, okay, what, who do you like and what do you like about it? And then the next, it will be, you know, old school singer songwriters mm. everybody knows that i'm a big fan of edit james so anything to spark his imagination and creativity and openness um to all genres and uh even yeah. hardcore 90s hip-hop that's what i'm oh, that's what i play <laughs> what, like, <laughs> in the car with kids <laughs> and i have to just shout over the sweary bits i mean no it's fine look i have a different stance on on I, i'm sure it will sound quite controversial but look they're going to hear swear words but it's about how to <laughs> be like when to use them and when not to and what it actually means um but yes i understand i'm like no slow yeah. Yeah. yeah i pulled into that parking lot one too many times with it blaring out parents being like what are they doing i'm like it's fine as metallica's playing um but yeah so we started having that conversation. Mm. And uh, for those that don't know, I am a classically trained pianist. Um, I started writing songs when I was 14 years old. I played the guitar. Um, and it was not long ago that I found the courage to, through PTSD therapy, um, to get a piano for my home again, because it'd been such a long time. Um, and my son and I had that conversation and I just started tapping the steering wheel, mm. um, not driving fast, I was very safe, we are both strapped in, it's okay. And we were just making a song up as we went along. Um, and I started to cry and I was thinking, why am I crying? This is because in full transparency, because it's just myself and my son and I'm a single mom, um, I always get so afraid that, especially with my health issues right now, what what would happen? What what would he have? And I I just got so overwhelmed and emotional about it because hanging up the pictures, just like we used to do, because every year my son and I will hang up the pictures of us and Santa from the he's only four, so it's been like a few years. But it got me really emotional, and I was looking at old pictures of. Um, you know, all family members and the way that my parents, um, every year we used to have, um, I never forget one year, my mom took my sister and I to Selfridges, I think it was, and there was a VHS video recorder. <laughs> if my mom's watching, you have to find the tape <laughs> and I'll post it. But it's about making those memories. And I just was, I couldn't finish the song without bawling my eyes out and thinking about, loved ones and then people that are alone and wanting to, um, my son is very special, he's got a big heart and trying to take that magic and put that into a song so everybody else could feel it, feel it, it very healing. Yeah. Well, so, was, and then he played the piano. Well, that's what I was thinking was that at least now you get to use your art to help with your emotions and to express yourself and, and it really was a beautiful th uh, song. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, my kids are slightly traumatized from going to Hamley's yesterday. Oh my gosh. So that will not be a special moment and I'm glad that there's no video Do you ever do like um, shows together like over Christmas? No, I don't think that they want to be seen with me in public.